Hello, welcome to the Department of Us, myself, Amal Bhatti. Today we are going to discuss the remaining part of the electronic effect, very basic chapter of the organic chemistry. Previously we covered, we covered the inductive effect, now today we will see the resonance effect. <coughs> The main basic difference between the inductive effect and the resonance effect is inductive effect is operate through the signal bonds and resonance effect is operate through the carbon. Specifically, we see today what is the resonance effect. Resonance effect. <coughs> Actually, there are many numbers of organic molecules, they have a specific structure, but single structure of the any molecule or any drug or any compound that could not explain the physical properties. That is single structure. Suppose give an example of now, This is the single structure of phenol. This single structure could not explain all physical and chemical properties. That's why to know what are the physical and chemical properties, there is a there are there is a B to be a different two or more structure of one compound. That's why there is the need to be the resonance. And that two or three structures of a single compound series, this is the main structure. If I give the resonance of this, these electron moves on this part, this single bond, these part electron bonds are on this carbon, you get here get negative charge, here get double bond, O, H, positive, here is the bond, here is down. And again I give the resonance, then it will form these bond get transferred on this, these transfer on this bond. It will form a new structure. Here get negative charge. Then to the resonance, these electrons should be on this carbon. Then we get here negative charge, positive. Oh yes, this is nothing but the two or more structure. Single structure could not explain the physical and chemical properties of any compound. That's why we require two or more structure to explain these properties. That's why these structures, all these structures are called as canonical structure. This structure is called as canonical structure or it is also called as Resonating structure, but uh, it is also called as contributing structure. These one, two, three are the canonical structure for the phenol, and all these structures are contributed to one structure that. This structure 
describing all resonance. That's why this structure is called a resonance hybrid. And these three structure is called canonical structure, resonating structure, or contributing structure. Always remember, canonical structure are for hypocritical structure. We only adjoin this structure, that is canonical structure, that's why it is hypocritical. But these resonance hybrid are the real structure and actually of the structure. Now we are going to see what are the different characteristics of the resonance or how to draw the resonating structure. Simply write down what are the characteristics of the structures. First, in resonating structures, these are the structures only change in the position of the power electron. First characteristic, right down. In right corner, only changing position of pi electron, not atom. Means here the series we only change the position of these pi electrons or p p p or by the electron and these double bond get here transfer and these get here transfer series simply this only in resonance there is a change in these pi electron positions but the change in position of atom doesn't occur in the resonance. This is the first characteristic of the resonance. Write down the second. The position of each atom, this is also same. And the resonating structure differ only in the placement of their pi electron and the non bonding but sigma bond skeleton remains same in all resonating structure. Already we talk these pi bond only change in the resonance, not uh, sigma bonds. This is the second point. In third, they will say all the resonating structure must be a Lewis structure. That is element of the second period cannot expand their object in the resonating structure. It means those elements which involved in the resonating structure will they have the complete of their octet. You know very well octet contain the outer orbital contains eight electron. They are will be to complete these objects, they should have to complete these electrons. As in case of the oxygen, oxygen have six electrons in their outermost orbital. That's why there are two valency of the oxygen. They bonded with the two single bond, this single bond. That's why there is a completion of the object of the oxygen. There is a small third characteristic. This is the fourth one. Fourth one is the <coughs> if any conjugate position have more than one length, one pair of electron, it will be take part in the conjugation. If any conjugate electron contain the lone pair electron out there, they will be a part of the resonance. These all are all the characteristic of the resonance. Now we will see the remaining part of the resonance. Nothing but the stability of the resonance.
stability of resonating structure. I'm sorry, sorry. Before going to this forward, first we see what are the types of resonance. Resonance is divided into two types that is plus R effect and minus R effect. As we see in case of the inductive effect, there are two effects that is positive and positive minus I effect. As like this, there, should, there is the plus R and the minus R effect. <coughs> what is in case of the plus and what is in case of the minus i? In case of the plus i effect, the substituent which is electron donating group, electron donating group will donate electron to the ring and that makes the ring electron rich. But make ring electron reach in case of the minus r effect there is the presence of electron withdrawing group substituent on the ring there is the presence of electron withdrawing group this group will withdraw electron from the ring and causes the electron diffusion on the ring that's why it will make it will make ring electron diffusion what are the substituents which show the plus r effect and which is the substituent which shows minus r effect right up the examples of plus r and minus r effect this is very important. The examples of plus R showing plus R effect. Right down. Plus R and minus R. This is the R, this is the resonance. O minus NH2 NH2 OH, OR, NXOR, TI, CH double bond CH2, F, CL, BF, and R. As we already know, these are oxygen is more electron donating because it already have electron reach group then to neutralize the charge it donates her electron to the ring that's why it is the most electron donating effect in case of the plus r effect now in case of the minus r effect most substitution showing the minus r effect is nitro group because of the presence of these nitrogen and two oxygen, it makes more electronegative. That's why they withdraw electron from the ring and make ring electron division. Then, SOCH, C9, CHO, COR, COX. CO2R, These are the examples of plus R, these are the examples of minor R. Remember these all examples. Then next we see how these substituents, these and these, these examples, 
these substituents, how they are helped to draw the vegetative structure as plus R and the minus R. First, see the structure of plus R, then minus R, then minus R. Thank you for to know all pharma videos. Please subscribe our website, pharma.com. Thank you.